Welcome back everyone to Global War 1936, Operation Lone Ranger. This time we are doing turn number 16 for the common turn. Uh, so let's get right to Republican Spain. Um, for these guys, not really much we're going to do here. Um, let's see. Let's bring one infantry into Madrid. Hmm. One, two. We'll also bring this fighter into Madrid as well. All right. Now let's try for um, the recruitment roll. That's going to be at a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we hit it. Fantastic. So we're going to take um, we're going to take two militia this time. One will go into Western Andalusia. The other one will go, eh, we'll put him in Catalonia. All right, let's get on to the USSR. So we have two tech rolls. We're going to go for heavy armor and long range aircraft. And uh, we hit on on uh, heavy armor, but uh, long range aircraft we fail on. So we complete heavy armor. Not that we're, not that we're really going to buy heavy armor because I mean, we are uh, in ultra defense mode at this point. Uh, we just lost Stalingrad um, on Germany's turn, so that puts the Axis way ahead in terms of victory points. Um, so I think really what um, what we need to do here is uh, oh yeah, let's go through the buys real quick. So eleven infantry is what we're gonna buy. And then for combat moves, um, we're going to bring two infantry from Eastern Anatolia into Transcaucasia. That's worth uh, five IPP. Uh, let's go ahead and account for that. So we move up 5 to 33. Germans will move down 5 to 73. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Hmm. Back into Lapland. Yeah, we could. We could try and take uh, northern Norway. Um, yeah, let's do that. So three infantry. And we're going to use one of this uh, medium armor here against his infant uh yeah against his infantry in medium armor it's going to go into northern norway we're going to bring in a fighter a jet fighter and a 
Tactical Bomber, um, they're going to move one, two, three. They'll have two movement range left. And so on the trip back, they will go... Um, into Vipuri province. Okay, so let's resolve this. And just taking Northern Norway away, I think we'll reduce that uh, IPP bonus that Germany's been getting. All right, so he has an infantry that defends at a four. And a medium armor that defends at a five. We have a medium armor that is going to defend. It's a it's mountain territory, so medium armor at a five. All of these infantry will be at a one. Tactical bomber at a seven. Jet fighter at an eight. All right. So we'll roll for the jet fighter first. No, let's do the let's do the infantry first. Let's go from lowest to highest. So we have three to one. All misses. We have a medium armor at a five. That's a hit. A tactical bomber at a seven. That's a miss. And then jet fighter at an eight. And that's a hit. So that's the two hits that we need. He has a defender infantry at a four. That's a miss. And then he's got a medium armor at a five. And that's a miss. All right. So we take Northern Norway with no problem. And I will get a roundel. That's worth one IPP. See, these planes will go back to the south here in Vipuri province. And we have three infantry and a medium armor in northern Norway. All right, so let's adjust the IPP chart here. So we go up 1 to 34. He goes down 1 to 72. And then he loses this IPP bonus for northern Norway, where he was getting plus 2. All right. So effectively, he lost three IPP a turn for that. All right, let's see if there's anything else we want to do here. We're kind of desperate at this point, so we're just going to try and apply some pressure where we can. Um, we're going to take Saratov for free. That's worth three IPP. Um... I feel like taking over northern Belarusia with... Huh. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to take northern Belarusia with the with this mechanized and medium armor. Now, that's not worth anything. Um, and then we're going to bring out a cavalry with that. Um... Tell you what, the cavalry is going to come out one, two, and take Estonia and Latvia. And then along with along with um let's see here.
five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're going to bring out 10 infantry into northern Belarus. I take that back. Eight infantry and four artillery. I'm going to get. Um, Get some chips for that. Let's see. We took Saratov. That's worth three. Did I already count for that? Now I can't remember. Let me get these chips. <clears throat> I don't think we did account for Saratov. So let's remember to do that. Um... So four artillery now in northern Belarus. Um, and ten infantry in left there in Leningrad. Okay, I gotta get a sculpt for that. All right. Maybe I did account for Saratov. I'll have to go back. After this video is done, I'll go back and double check that just to make sure. All right. And then we need an uh, infantry sculpt on this guy up here. So 10 infantry there. There's eight here in northern Belarus, along with a mechanized medium armor and four artillery. Cavalry over here in Latvia. Um, this infantry in Karelia is going to come down one into Western Russia. So that's a non-combat move. We're done with the combat moves now. Oh, let's do our rating. Forgot about that. Our convoy rating. All right. So we have a, a fleet submarine. We're going to do this uh, North Sea Line first. That has a total of two IPP value. Um, so plus two for that. Germany will get plus one for radar, plus one for long-range aircraft. So it's two to two. Ugh, no hit there. And then the other fleet sub, same deal. And nothing there either. Eight to eight. Uh, so let's try for the Baltic Sea. Two to two. No luck there. And then for the second fleet sub, uh, no luck there either. Wow. Failed on all of them. Okay. Um, let's see more non-combat moves that we can do here. I'm going to bring down... This destroyer, one, two, three into A22. This light cruiser and destroyer will come over one, two. Uh, I think I only have a range of three here. Yeah, one, two, three into A23. All right.
You know what? I changed my mind. All of these uh, surface ships are going to come into A12. So the only non-combat move is this one destroyer from A7 goes A10 into A12. I just realized something. This line's no longer valid because there's no connection to Northern Norway anymore. So these guys, even if we had hit here, we would have to uh, remove it because you can't conduct convoy rating on a line that isn't connected. All right. So they'll come off rating. Um... So we'll say that they never conducted a combat move because of that, because it was invalid. Um, and they'll come in one, two, uh, yeah, they'll come two over here into A12. We'll just gather everybody there in A12. Let's see, what else? Uh, we do have two rail moves, and we're going to take these two infantry and in, in, in Gara, and they are going to rail um, to Western Russia. These three infantry here will come down one into Orenburg. And then we are going to non-combat move these factories. Well, I think we'll leave them there for now. I am a bit concerned because they could blitz. That's the only thing. Um... I'll tell you what, we're going to non-combat move one factory up to Kola, and the other one will come up to northern Russia. All right. I think he actually gets a reduction in IPP for Transcaucasia. Let me see here. Yes, he does. So that's two less IPP for him. Uh, I'll, I'll check the strategic objectives. I think... Maybe Fitz doing Europa. Although I think he still gets that one. Oh, yeah, that's the Atlantic Wall. So, yeah, that, that doesn't impact the Eastern Front. Yeah, I don't think it impacts the strategic objectives at all. So I think we're good there. Okay, so we can't use the two factories there in northern Russia and in Kola because we just moved them. So let's place some units now. <clears throat> uh, let me get some chips. And while I'm down here, I'm going to get some more roundels for Estonia and Latvia. Okay. Um... We're going to place two infantry in Karelia. Let's 
So there's five. We'll place five more in Moscow. And then four more will go into, trade that out for a five. Four more will go into Leningrad. All right. Let's uh, collect some income and we will call it a turn. Okay, so we still get Lynn Lease. Um, propaganda. We may have taken a hit on that one. Let me double check. Yes, we only get two from that. So our total IPP bonus is going to be four. So that puts us at 38 for next turn. And we saved one, so that'd be a total of 39. Okay. Yeah, it's looking pretty grim. Uh, I think, um, you know, we start rolling for the end of the turn or end of the game next turn. It'll be at a one. So if we roll a one, assuming, well, actually it'll be a two, a two or less because the Germans have Paris, a capital city. So. Um, end of next turn, if the Germans still have Paris, we'll be rolling at a two or less to end the game. So Germans uh, are, the Axis are way ahead. Um, but, you know, we're going to continue to fight till the end and see if, uh, see if we can uh, make a bit of a comeback. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, next up will be turn 16 for Japan. And until I see you in the next video, take care. Bye-bye.